The future is here and it's going to put you in the driver's seat, kind of. For just under 20 grand, you can now get a Honda that's capable of driving itself pretty well on a highway. The WSJ's John Stoll reporting Monday that that vehicle and others from other manufacturers are coming as the Obama administration proposes spending $4 billion to accelerate autonomous car technology during the next decade. These new vehicles possess advanced driver assistance systems, which offer features such as lane keeping assistance, automatic braking and adaptive cruise control. And in option packages as low as $1,800, these cars are being snapped up at far higher rates than electric vehicles. Let's take a look at some of the latest features being offered. General Motors is set to launch a new version of its small Chevrolet Cruze this year. It includes Lane Assist, which featured on this Chevrolet Malibu provides gentle steering wheel turns and lane departure alerts if necessary to help drivers avoid unintentionally drifting out of their lane. This feature uses a forward-looking camera. When you're in forward gear and traveling above 37 miles per hour or 60 kilometers per hour, this sensor looks directly ahead to detect lane lines. With the starting price tag of $20,440, the entry-level Honda Civic LX sedan has a similar feature called road departure mitigation. The WSJ Stoll said during a 25-mile commute in Metro Detroit in Honda's new Civic, the drive could be completed with hands off the wheel and foot off the accelerator, just as long as the lane markings are visible and another vehicle is in front of the car. There are other features that come with these packages, all part of the push in Washington and among automakers to boost safety on the road. Traffic fatalities jumped 9% during the first nine months of 2015, compared with a year earlier. Automakers are scrambling to help with distractions. Tesla, Mercedes-Benz, and GM's Cadillac brand are all accelerating autonomous technology, with Cadillac planning to introduce a Super Cruise semi-autonomous system on its vehicles next year. That said, automakers advise against treating these vehicles as self-drivers, given their technology is meant to reduce accidents related to distraction and stress, not replace the driving experience.